In the middle of the pandemic in 2020, I took off on an adventure of my lifetime. For the next five months, I traveled across America, from Tennessee to Sedona to Oregon, then to Florida to New England. I had seen so many beautiful and different places. So what does 2021 hold for me next? So why don't you just stick around and take some more adventures with me to the deep south, like Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, and Tennessee to find out. Okay, I'm in it is. I'm pretty sure these are closed tracks because when I drove by it earlier from the from the island, it looked like they were closed. Don't use it anymore. Let's see. So you can drive down this way. Which way? I'm going to go this way. I saw the boardwalk. <laughs> Okay, seriously now? All right, left it is. It's like 76 degrees out today and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look, even the sun peeking through. Looks like a little bit marshy. Look at that beautiful fern growing off that tree. I 
absolutely gorgeous. I'm loving this. I might go the other way in a minute. <laughs> Tells you what poison ivy it is. Threes, let it be. Remember that. Fours are okay. Tells you about a spider. Trust me, if I see it, I'm running. <laughs> Doesn't tell you if it's poisonous or not, though. So hopefully it's not. There's a few in Florida that I know is. Um, I think, well, obviously, Black Widow and Brown Palouse is. But I think there's a couple more, too. I just can't remember offhand what they are. Trust me, if I see one, I'm running anyway. I don't like spiders. Ooh, bats and dead trees. Okay, good warning. Oh, look how beautiful this one is. Oh, I love seeing some beautiful oak. You guys enjoying my little tour? That's it. I'm sitting. Do you like this little tour I'm giving you? <laughs> Normally I don't on my nature walks, but I figured why not? You see what I see. And I'm not going to make a long video out of it because most of it, yeah, it's rather boring. Probably have some music in the background, I'm sure, but... And you'll hear my voice and my little um, commentary <laughs> if you're into that kind of stuff. If you're into this kind of stuff and you really want to see more of this, comment below. Because if not, I'm not going to do this very often, you know. Um, if I get enough interest, I might go ahead and do that. Um, and especially if it's like a really interesting... Whoops. <laughs> uh, especially if it was a real interesting walk. I definitely want to do that. Like when I'm in the Pacific Northwest again, and I'm going to be able to do more of this now that I know what the hell I'm doing, <laughs> then, um, yeah, I'll probably be doing a lot more of those because those are beautiful. But this is Florida. A lot of people like Florida. Um, most of the people come here for the beaches. I know. Whoops. Sorry, my hand's getting kind of tired. Um, yeah, most people come here for beaches and stuff, but... I'm here because I want to see more of Florida nature, you know. Being born and raised in this state and lived here all my life, there's not a whole lot that I've seen in Florida, believe it or not. Just bits and pieces where my parents have taken us and stuff for vacation, besides Disney. <laughs> so, sorry I keep doing this, but I didn't bring my thing with me and... Anyway, 
So I'm just going to sit here and rest for a minute. Um, I might go ahead and do a little bit more, but then I'm going to be done for a minute because I don't want to make this too long. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't even planning on doing it, but a couple seconds like I always do and just show you what I see. But I was like, you know what? I'll keep going. Why not? show you like a nature trail that I go on these are the things that I like to do you know what I mean so to be honest with you one of these days I'll have somebody to tag along with me um my person you know until I get that point I'm not worried about it I enjoy these things the way they are you know Anyway, I'll let you tag along a couple more minutes and I'll be done, I promise. All right, see you in a bit. I heard a noise as I'm sitting here and it's a freaking armadillo. <laughs> oh, he disappeared in there. <laughs> That's funny. All right, back out again. So pretty back here. As long as I don't see no snake, I'll be fine. I think I still hear that armadillo in the back there. to read. It's not a trail anymore, but it used to be a cutout, it looks like. There it looks like. Well, oh, it's not letting me focus in. So it looks like blackberries to me, but they're not. They are called beauty berries. Huh. Good to know. Learn a new thing today. Sorry you can hear my breathing, guys. Probably don't have music over this anyway. See, even when trees are knocked down naturally from like wind or lightning or something, right? You leave it. Obviously, this one looks like it's been cut down. Oh, probably if it was in the way, it was. But you leave it because, again, bugs and stuff eat, you know, stuff like that in there. So then birds and other place people, uh, animals, can eat off of that. So again, circle of life, guys. different 
earned. I haven't seen a lot of these ferns in, a, in any of these other trails that I've been at the past couple days. But there's a ton of them here. Commentary, guys. I would definitely talk to you. <laughs> That's why I'm showing you whatever I see. Oh, looks like they might be coming to the end. Oh, a maple. Which are these? I've seen plenty of those over up in uh, New England during the fall. It was beautiful. Alright, so it looks like we're at the end. I'm pretty sure I came this way. Um, let's see, what am I? Pretty sure I went that way already. So, oh, shows you like all the other stuff decay <laughs> and what eats it. So I'm going to go back this way where I came from. It was a short trail. I tried to go on those when it's by myself. I can't wait until I actually have a person of any kind at this point for when it comes to family, friends, significant other, whatever. So, or even find a hiking buddy or something would be great. Um, let's see. Oh, I came all the way around. No, nope, I came out of that way. Okay. I'm not going that way, though. Let's go back. All right. But, yeah. Um, I tend to do the shorter trails, the easier ones. Ones that, um, you know, especially because now it's starting to get dark, too. It's like 4.30-ish. So, I don't want to be trapped out there for any period of time. So, I tend to... I pay attention. Let's just put it that way. So, when I do have a partner or whatever, even a friend or whatever, a new hiking buddy, whatever, then yes, I'm definitely going to do the longer ones or do ones that um, it looks a little bit more difficult, you know, that kind of stuff. Because then I'll feel a little bit better, safer, you know what I mean? When you're doing solo, and I'm sure... Uh, it's not just me talking about this, but other solo hikers probably the same. No matter how good of a shape you're in and stuff, hikers get lost all the time, get hurt all the time. I remember one in, back in summer, I think she was in Utah. I want to say Utah, but she was gone for like two, maybe three weeks. I can't remember exactly the story now, but it's because she bumped her head. And she's an expert hiker. So again, it happens. And luckily somebody spotted her in her hammock because she couldn't even get up and move for those couple weeks. So she was in dehydration and starvation and everything going on. She was very lucky. And she was somebody around my age in the 40s. So it can happen. So no, I don't put myself in danger in any way. I don't have to. But anyway, now I'm going back to the beginning now. So I think I'm going to let you go. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'm sorry if this is too boring for you. You can fast forward through it or, or whatever. Or listen to my commentary. <laughs> Maybe you'll learn some stuff too. Like I just did. Oh well, I'm out of breath now. I'm getting back into the parking lot. I will check on you guys on the next video. Again, comment if you like this so that I could do more of these. Have a good day, guys.
I spent Christmas 2020 with my family. Still under the pandemic, I decided to stay a while, but still took some mini trips around my home state. In the summer, I decided to get a job since I'll be here for a while. I met some new friends and hung out with some old ones. I changed my hairstyle quite a bit. I liked it getting shorter and shorter. I even went to my high school reunion, but I miss my family greatly. I needed some much needed bonding time with them. We did so many family gatherings and holidays, and I didn't realize how much I really missed it. It's been almost two years now, and I'm loving it. I have a new appreciation for my home state and fell in love with it again. But I am still going traveling every chance I get.